Hey, Orange One here. So in this video, I'm going to go over where to find ancient science books, engineering research, and AI cores. Um, if you're not familiar, the reason why you want these things is so that you can do more advanced research. They're kind of like the basic books for the lower technology. You need multiple of them at your research bench, and you need them in the research bench. Um, so I'm going to be talking mostly about where you find them. If you are, there's, there's two cities that I know of that uh, will sometimes have these items. The first one would be World's End, and this is this video is going to contain a lot of spoilers, by the way. Um, World's End is really good tech hunter city uh, up here in the northern part of the map, near just north of um, like Okran's Shield and Okran's Fist in this mountain range. So it's kind of hard to get to because it's hard to path up to. But if you go to uh, the city, some of the stores, I think, like this one right here, this uh, mechanical shop, if you talk to the owner, they'll actually um, sometimes have these ancient science books, and I think that they sometimes have the other books as well. So you can buy these here, they're pretty expensive, um, but you can't really buy them any other place, and there's only other, um, you can only find them in ruins besides this and the Black Desert City. So yeah, you can get these here, um, and I'll show you the next place as well. Alright, so we're at the um, Black Desert City in the Black Desert region of the map. Or I think it's actually the Deadlands, it's right next to the Black Desert. Um, so if you go here, this is like a skeleton controlled city. And they have this place called the Scrap House just next to it, which is this giant store. So if you go up to the first floor, not floor zero, but floor one, and you click on there, your person should run into the store. And this store is one of the best stores in the whole game. They have some really good loot in here. But if you talk to um, Quinn right here, they're the one that sells stuff to you. And they'll, they've got some unique dialogue. Um, they've got a ton of different items, ton of really good melee weapons and ranged weapons, but if you keep on scrolling down, you'll see that they also have engineering research. And I think that they also, yeah, they've got really good blueprints as well, and they also have AI cores. These are extremely expensive though, 25,000 cats. It's like more than um, any of the prosthetics that you'd find. They also usually have ancient science books, but I think I've bought all of theirs. Um, and you can import the world from uh, previous uh, saves, and that will restock the inventory of this if you're trying to just get more of them through buying and selling uh, goods. But that is kind of an exploit. Um, so I wouldn't recommend it, because it is actually really fun to go out into the ruins. If you're having a hard time finding ruins, sometimes they you can find maps to those ruins in... Uh, those traders shops so I might show you that next so I'm back in world's end and if you look here this right here is a travel shop it's also a repair shop for skeletons it's kind of a cool little combo that they have here in this one place um, but if you go and talk to the uh, person who's in charge of the um, the travel shop portion they'll have or they should have some maps so you can see maps of towns, and they will also have things like lost libraries and other locations that you can buy maps to. So you can buy that to see, if you right click on it, it's kind of like a blueprint. It will add that location to your map. It doesn't show you where on the map, um, but if you look around you should be able to find a new location of a lost library. So these are all ruins up here. I don't see the lost library. I'm just going to look around for a second and see if I can find it so you can see what this looks like. Oh, I think that's, yep, yeah, I think this is it right here because we haven't been to this part of the map. So that's going to be a lost library. We haven't been there yet, so it's just marked as ruins. Um, so yeah, I'll show you how to explore ruins as well in this video, so just give me a second. So this character right here I had exploring around and they actually went to um, this swamp area and there's all these unknown objects and ruins. 
So if I run over to one of these unknown objects or ruins, it should let me know what type of location it is. So let's just get a little bit closer. Discovered ruin. And this actually looks like it's an uh, ancient lab. So if I get close enough, it'll identify as ancient lab. It'll tell you how many residents are in there. And these labs can be really tricky to actually um, get the loot out of them, but they're some of the best loot. So if you look in here, there's these uh, security spiders. They're pretty nasty. I would not recommend fighting them if you don't have to. Um, if you have a ranged weapon, you can kite them pretty well. Uh, this character does have a ranged weapon, but they also have something that's pretty good against robots. They're not really trained in it, though. So if you're going to be um, trying to clear out a ancient lab, make sure you're coming prepared to either fight uh, these spiders or um, kind of kite them around. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to show you me fighting that. I'm just going to show you where the loot is in this building and show you kind of how you get to it. So I actually did not have enough uh, bolts to actually clear out this uh, place, so I just ran my character up to the top and then put them in sneak mode, and the things attacked me, but they're actually not right next to me right now, so I can actually loot this room in relative peace. And that skeletal spider is going to be coming around here, but they won't actually come into this room. So these different strong boxes are all different uh, boxes that you can loot. I would recommend clicking on these. I know it seems like a lot, but if you click on them individually, you will find ancient science books. So we've just found three of them right there, without having to do really any major um, un unlocking anything. So the the books that you want usually are actually in these little lock boxes which you'll need to unlock. So I would recommend bringing someone who's pretty decent at um, doing lock picking. If you're going to be going to one of these locations, either that or bring a lot of tools to unlock containers for you. And be careful, There's some containers are really small like that in this right here, the small boxes. But the safes are usually where the good stuff is. So that safe right here and the ancient safe over there are going to be where the best items are going to be. You will occasionally find an AI core in these um, ancient labs. Also ancient science books tend to spawn. I don't think engineering research spawns. I think that tends to be more in the uh, the workshops. So if we look in there, yep, there's another ancient science book right there. I'm kind of curious to see if this has anything. Nope. There's nothing there, nothing there, what about here? So make sure you're being really thorough. And as far as I can tell, in the ancient labs, all the loot tends to be up in the, uh, the third floor in this little room. Like down here, this is just like research benches and um, storage for like certain items. So that's not really worth looting. And I've, I've literally never found anything worthwhile to loot in the lower floors. So you, if you're doing what I'm doing and you just run up here and get taken out, I would maybe have some extra robotic legs or maybe wait till your legs heal up so that you can outrun the, um, the skeletal spiders. Because if I try and run out right now with these broken legs of mine, they're going to probably take me down again. And this character is essentially stuck. Or you might be able to distract the skeletons with uh, another person and have them run out of the lab while this person then tries to make their escape. There's a number of different strategies you can do to um, clear or just sneak your way through an ancient lab. Oh yeah, look at this. This had six whole ancient science books as well as skeletal repair kits, power cores, and generator cores. I've never actually used generator cores, but I think you need them for some item or to build some stuff for your base. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to the next place after this. Um, maybe a workshop or a lost library. 
All right, so Hatsune is actually at a um, lost library right now. This location is actually one of the first ruins I cleared out in my in my game, but because I've imported, it's not clear. It's swarming with uh, blood spiders, which if you've ever fought them, they are a real pain to fight. So I'm going to try and... Um, what I had done in the past is I had like 10 or so of these bolts and just kited them around, which is a totally valid strategy. I was silly and did not bring that this time. So I'm going to try and see if I can run past them and sneak my way into here. Because now they're going to all be chasing after me. This is going to be kind of tricky, but I'm going to see if I can do it. So yeah, it looks like they don't see me now that I've ran around the back of this building. So if I'm able to get out here... I don't see any of them immediately right next to us. Looks like they're mostly over there. Oh, they might have seen me. I'm not sure. We might have to wait a little while until it gets dark. They might see me right now. Yeah, it looks like they see me, so they're running for me. No, this is not working. Run away. <laughs> Alright, so I managed to get into the uh, the lost library. And the nice thing about this is if you don't clear out this area, you can just shut the door and those blood spiders can't get in. So now I'm actually in here. If I hold down Alt, I can see all the damaged books and parchments. And there's a couple actually... Um, actual books which are still intact but the nice thing about this place is that there's actually old maps um actually no not the old maps there's um you sometimes get those like maps of certain locations i don't think i'm seeing anything right now but there's also this uh, metal chest right here that i can see and you want to right click on anything that you can like there's um I'll show you in just a minute, but there's this location which has ancient science books and these things which will give you other locations. So if you look at all of these, you can right click on them just like the other thing that I just showed you a minute ago and it adds locations to your map and you'll have a pretty good idea of what those are. And then if you go up here, you can right click on a lot of things that you might not realize you can. So there's obviously these containers which you're probably familiar with, but there's these, um, this right here, display stands. A lot of times people overlook these, but they can have books or ancient science books a lot of the time in them. So you want to check those out, and maps as well. So yeah, that's the basic idea with the Lost Library. They um, basically show you where other places are. And they sometimes have ancient books, ancient science books in them as well. So you do want to be very thorough when you're looting these places because it's easy to miss something. All right, let's go ahead and go to the, the last one. Okay, so we're at the um, ancient post-ancient workshop in the northwest part of the map. This one is probably one of the ones I check out earliest in my playthroughs because it's unguarded. I've never seen any hostiles here. Um, it, it's not like owned by a faction or anything. So that's pretty nice. Um, there's actually like no residents because there's other ancient workshops which will have like skeletons and whatnot that I've seen in like the Deadlands in our locations. Um, these ones are kind of hard to like see where to go. There's not really anything on the ground level. You need to run up to or one of these places and then check the actual um, containers that they have around here so there's a lot of them which it's kind of like the other locations where there's a lot of stuff where it's not really that useful to you it's just kind of like 
what the people were using here when this was their base. But if we pick the lock on some of these places, they'll have really good items, kind of like an ancient armory, but they'll also have engineering research. This is the only place I've actually found engineering research, not in a store. So it's pretty, pretty good location to find if you're trying to get your, your base built up. But to be honest, I... I prefer just going through the economy and buying it from those cities that have them early on. It's just so much easier if you've got a good industry going to just go there and check it out. But these places are pretty cool. While they're working on that, I just want to see if there's any other chests that I can see. It looks like there's one over there. And you want to be careful with these uh, benches because sometimes they'll have like um, one of those small boxes on top. Yeah, there's like a crate there, a crate there, and also a small box right over there. So there's a lot of lootable spots right here. Look, three engineering research. That's that's huge. Katana isn't great, but they've got skeletal repair kits. They oftentimes have, from what I've seen, um, at least one ranged weapon in them too. It's pretty good. I've gotten like um, some masterwork or specialist level like rangers and other crossbows. Wow, four whole um, engineering research books from this one location. I usually don't get that many. Yep, a masterwork ranger right there. It's huge. So yeah, these locations are really, really nice. They're a little bit more safe in my experience than the other ones, but you still want to be careful um, because the one in the Deadlands I know has like some pretty high level enemies. So yeah, that's my tutorial on how to find AI cores, um, ancient science books, and engineering research. Um, yeah, let me know if you've got any other questions. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.